from the Sheraton Norfolk Waterside Hotel. It's the 2023 International Open. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. This event is a Pat Fleming production. It's WPA sanctioned, and it's being brought to you by AccuStats. As always, when we're here at the International, we're joined by our three official signature sponsors, Diamond Billiard Products with this gorgeous rosewood table, Simonis Cloth with Tour Blue 860, and Aramith Balls, and we thank those companies for their long support of this event and Pro Pool. We also want to thank Outsville for providing the official rack template for this event, the AccuRack. Lastly, before we get to player introductions, we got one more thanks, and that's our appreciation for all of you who are watching out there, who have come here to see this live in person. Ladies and gentlemen, you are the most important part of the International Open. All right, second match here in our 10-ball challenge. Great international lineup. Both gentlemen are no stranger to center court. Let's introduce them to you right now. From Toronto, a former Derby City Bank Pool champion and a former Diamond 10-ball champion among his accomplishments. Sponsored by Predator and one pocket apparel known as Mr. Smooth, it's John Mora. His opponent from Scotland, nine-time Turning Stone champion. Three times he won the Derby City Bigfoot 10-ball challenge. Nobody has done that. He's sponsored by Simonis Aramuth and by Rassen. It's Eagle Eye, Jason Shaw. All right. Race to 10. Your official timekeeper is Miss Dorothy Top K. I'm going to send it upstairs to the comm box to Mark Wilson and Kim Davenport. Hello and welcome, pool fans, as we bring you world class pool. 10 ball action on the 10 foot table. And this week, we welcome Hall of Fame player here to do the commentary, Kim Davenport. Glad to have you here, Kim. Yeah, nice to be here. It's been a while, so I'm looking forward to this. We had a little uh, incident here you don't see too often on the leg. Both players were left-handed. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't happen too often. No, you don't. And, and usually down, you, you want to be on the right side if you're left-handed, but uh, that was kind of unusual. This is a uh, race to 10, alternate the break, all ball fouls. The 10 ball does not win on the break. He kind of just kind of didn't hit him. He looked like he hit him about 70% that time there, Mark. That's just the new of, thing. Everybody uh, has lowered it down trying to take the scratch out of play. Right. And right. Uh, you just try to square him up and get ball action. You can see how many balls he moved to the other end of the table. As he pocketed the two ball in the far corner pocket. I can't tell if the one will go by the five. It looks like it will, but... Uh, it's an awkward reach and not an easy yeah. position play either. Should go straight up and straight down. Yeah, he got behind the balls there. I'll tell you, uh, I couldn't be more impressed with what Jason has evolved into, and it really stemmed from uh, getting married and having kids. A far more mature player... A he used to just try to overpower you with offense, and that would generally work, except at the elite level. Sometimes he lacked a little bit in the safety play, and the, he'd give away some games. If you play a safe, he'd play one back. If you play a second one, he's just going. Right. And now he's gotten a little more mature, a little more patient, and, and then he's always possessed the super firepower. Mm. Ooh, looked like the 10 was going, but he got kissed. Three balls in a little awkward spot here. You know, the name, since I was uh, playing, the names have changed, but the game's still the same. You know, yeah. You break the balls, yeah. you hope to get a shot on the one, you run out. So uh, I have to think he's going to be on offense here. I, I really do. I think he could just make the one go two rails out and shoot the three on the side. Yeah, good shot. Big time shot there. Glides at home. He's going to pick up a little momentum here if he can start to run some balls. Well, he won the lag. That's an important shot in the game. A lot of people don't know that. You, you win the lag, and he's had control of the game. He made a ball, and then he snookered him. So 
he's kept control for, and that's for, from winning that lag. It's a very important shot in the game of pool. Yeah, so many people take it for granted or don't respect it, and then, you know, at this level, it is a big deal. Mm -hmm. It's not as big a deal as it used to be when, when uh, we used to play winter break. You know, you could lose the lag, and next thing you know, it's 5 nothing. <laughs> right. Which, if you were doing it, it was fine, but if you were on the receiving end of it, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it wasn't that fun. much fun. No. So it looks like he just went and uh, got, got an extension. extension. For those of you at home, this is a 5 by 10. Uh, regulation is 4.5 by 9. This is just a little bigger, so uh, it's a gorgeous table. This diamond uh, 5 by 10 is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, they told me last night it was just built special for this event. It was, this is the first time it's ever even been used or played. One piece slate, 5 by 10, by the way. So They have to have a special tool, I was told, to... Uh, to bring it in because it's like glass. If you don't catch it just right, it can just shatter on you. Well, actually, the table comes in like a bar table. The slate's already mounted, and they have about 32 levelers inside the table. So once you turn it up and level the legs, the thing plays great throughout. If you can, <laughs> you can swing a one-piece slate for a 9- or 10-foot table, it really helps the table because you don't have the slate seams, and right. they, they tend to stay level. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because you, when the three-piece slate, you have to putty it in and make sure it's smooth. Well, it looks like he's making a short rack of this. He made a good shot on the one, and uh, he was uh, rewarded for it. Looks like it's going to be one nothing. When these players get a shot and they're in the and the balls are open, they're usually going to run out mm -hmm. a very high percentage of the time. And Shaw is fun to watch because it's fast, up tempo, and he's a spectacular shot maker. Probably the best of my life, I would say. One zero is our score. Shaw quickly decimates that rack after a good safety, and just like Kim said, by virtue of winning the leg, make a ball on the break, play a safety, get control of the table, and then finally got a shot, took advantage. It really doesn't come into play if you're in line. The extra size doesn't matter. But as soon as you get a hint out of line, boy, it really conspires against you, and it, it's progressively more difficult moving forward. Well, what I can see, they have, and, you know, to reach. If your cue ball's way out and you have to reach, but they have these extensions nowadays, so, you know, you would be correct about that. I still say you have to you have to shoot maybe just a little straighter, but uh, you, you wouldn't get as snookered as much because it's more wide open. Yep. So. Yeah. yeah, there's 50 square feet versus a 9-footer is 40 and a half square feet, so you got 25% more space. All right. Well, thank you, Einstein, for that. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if John follows uh, Jason's, just hits him about 80% or so here. Let's see what he does. Morris still breaks right-handed, even though he's a left-handed player and used to be exclusively a right-handed player. Miss hit him just a little yeah, bit, Yeah, he sure did. Hit him a little harder, too, than uh, Jason did. And he came up dry, it looks like. And look, he moved a good bit, a two, four, six, eight, no, seven balls on the far end of the table. Uh, yeah, it looks like the, what's that, the four and the five stuck up there on the side, right? Yep. Yeah, and then it doesn't really, the four doesn't go past the five to the nine, or through past the nine, then the pier. Jason's examining that now. It's certainly tight. Well, I know the bank is on if he wants to shoot it. Uh, I, I don't can't tell if he's elevated over the nine or not. If he is, he might. He'd like to play safe, but uh, he might play offense and try to. No, he's yeah, playing he safe. Decided, that's not a very oh, good he decelerated. Show. Okay, did they get past? They did. They got just past the side pocket where I don't think it's cuttable anymore. I think he can make that mark. Oh well, yeah. then, but he'll be my disappointed. eyes aren't what they used to be. Hey, he'll be very disappointed if, it, if John cuts this ball and then gets control of the table. He'll really be disappointed with his effort because there was no reason to hit it that soft. I don't think, you know, he shot that pretty quick. It didn't look like he was really decided on what he wanted to do there. Going to play the two back in the side pocket, I think. Come around two rounds. Oh, yeah, he could cut oh, that he hit, Yeah, he hit the, he, he might hit have got away heavy. with it. I think he hit a little heavy or a little thinner. Yeah, Let's see. he, he, he hit a little heavy. Okay. He, he meant to go in between the uh, 10 and the 3 there and shoot the 2, but I think he has a shot. And these players are so good. If if they're just snookered just a little bit where it won't go, 
they can use extreme English, and that cue ball will spin that ball yeah. about a quarter of an inch and throw it right in the hole. Yeah. I believe that's what he did there. Nice, smooth stroke, too. Really good on his transition from backswing to mm -hmm. forswing. That's always been his hallmark when he was even as a right-handed player. They think they need Mr. Smooth. Well, I'm wondering what he's going to do here. Let's see. Looks like he's going forward. No, he just stopped it. Well, I guess we're all going to learn something here. I'm not sure yeah, what this is going to going to try to go behind the... Uh, Six and the seven. Oh, no. and use the five. Remove the five. Yeah, leave the yeah. four there. That's a good call. Yeah, behind the six, seven. That's a great call. A very productive shot if he executes it. Yeah, there you go. How'd he do? Oh, good. That helps matters quite a bit. And mm -hmm. there's no jump cues in this, by the way, so that makes that safety far more effective. That doesn't hurt my feelings. No, I don't think any of us old school guys care about that, although uh, the fans like it. So yeah. it's a kind of a trade-off, but... Uh, all of us prefer. Well, if I was playing today, you can bet I'd have one. <laughs> yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. Is he going to get a rail? No. He's not going to get a rail. No. That's a foul. Yeah, it looks like, looks like uh, Jason, just the last couple of shots, just a little tight. You know, early in the match, you know what I mean? Uh, it, it, it's, it's good right. to get off into a good start. And he, he won the first game, so those jitters are kind of gone. But, uh, yeah, last couple of shots he hit. A little uncharacteristic of him. But really good decision-making by uh, Mora, too, to, to get the five off the rail, free up the four, force Jason into something distasteful. So not only was it good decision, but good execution. He would have liked to have got just a little better on this ball. Oh, he stunned it. That was well, he was able to manipulate the pocket a little mm. bit. I think he hit the full side. Looks like he's just going to shoot the six, draw it back, and shoot the seven in the same corner pocket. Can't quite tell the angle, but I believe that's what he's going to do. Nice, long, fluid stroke. Two lefters. I always loved... Ooh. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That might have got a little awkward just there. Just a little touch. Yes. As you can see on the screen, it is. He's going to need the bridge. We are using the 30-second shot clock, which... Probably won't come into play with Shaw for sure. But now the thing about this shot is he's going to have to hold his cue ball for position on the eight, so it can't be going very fast when it goes in the hole. Good shot. Oh, sure it was. Good recovery. Yeah. What we used to call those? I forget when I was ten or eleven. Granny. Yeah. Granny yeah, yeah sure. What was it? Yeah. Granny yeah. sticks or yeah. Granny crutch. <laughs> Yeah, you're going to need it on a 5 by 10 You're going to have to be much better mm -hmm. with the bridge than you do with a 4 and a half by 9 I like coming two rails out here. He might just come one rail. I don't know the, the players that today. I, like, I always like to use the rails to control the speed of my cue ball. Okay, yeah, two rails. Yeah. And he likes it, too, because he's always tracking at the mm -hmm. 10 if he yeah. hits it, you know. So yeah, because if you come you off good. just one rail off there, you, you know, a lot of funny things can happen if you catch it full or you catch it too thin. You can get, you know, this way, shooting it around, you, you're really going to get position every time. And you have a much better, easier time managing the speed. All right, two nice racks here. 1-1 one, one is our score. Kim and I were talking right before the match began. I was telling them that I've never seen another player win a couple of pro tournaments right-handed and then train themselves to come back left-handed and win a couple of pro tournaments. It's amazing never what, what he'd done. He really injured himself. And then what, what has it been, like eight or nine years? Uh, 2018, he switched exclusively to left-handed. Oh, so it's so, only five years. Yeah. That, is, that is totally a lot of talent to be able to do <laughs> that. And discipline. I mean, I've never seen anyone work themselves back up. And, and we were talking earlier Mesrek played good opposite handed. Mm -hmm. Siegel, of course, played great opposite handed. Buddy the, Hall. And, and to, yeah. to such an extent that yeah. if you didn't know better, you would think it was their dominant hand. I mean, right. I saw Siegel and Mesrek playing on a snooker table, nine ball, opposite handed, and they were breaking and running racks. Yeah. It was just remarkable. I'm just paralyzed with my left hand. I mean, you just forget that. I have to use the bridge. All right, here we go. 
little 80%. Cue ball should come straight back off. There it is. Now, do you see the both the balls right behind the one found the side pocket? That's what, mm -hmm. When he squares them up like that, that's what they try to range in there. Right. And they both hit the... And now Jason's got a pretty nice shot here, although he's going to have to dislodge that three. Yeah. Yeah, and he hit, he hit the break awful square, too. Mm -hmm. You know, good things happen when you hit a square. First yeah. of all, you're not going to scratch unless yeah. you really get unlucky and get kissed in. He'll just clip the five ball here, make the one and clip the five. Oh, man. He hit it heavy. Do you see Again. it kind of stagger into the pocket? Again, he made a, a mistake. Yeah, that was because he was so close. We, we expect him to get that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I don't think it was that difficult of a shot, to be honest with you. You might not come out with a shot, but you sure figure he's going to hit the three and the five there. Well, I figure if he would have just hit the five, the five goes to the relic cue ball stops. Well, that's what you try, but in case you miss hit the object ball a little bit, sometimes you go into the three and then it gets tangled up, but you'd, yeah. I would have bet anything he hits one of those two balls. Can okay. he kick the five back at him? I think <laughs> he's going to go underneath. The three ball's going to go down table. Five might go on the side. Oh, he hit the five going in. He's starting off a little. Yeah, he's a little shaky right now. But what a great player. He's he's one of the, what, top three greatest players in the world right now, isn't he? <laughs> Has to be. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he, won the, he just come off the Hanoi Open. He won that. He won Turning Stone this year. He's won this 10-foot table tournament at least three times, if not four. I know he right. won it twice here, and I know he's won it at the Derby a time or two, so. Well, one one thing about it is, you know, great players they're not they're not going to give up no matter what happens. So uh, he'll he'll find his way, especially when it when it's uh, alternate break. You know, I mean, you can't really mm -hmm. unless you just miss every single rack. It's hard for you to get too far behind. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and plus he's breaking the balls better than John. I there you go. John switching to right handed here for this that happens more on a ten footer where you need the other hand. I couldn't do that. I never did like doing that when I, no. oh, 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 the speed was perfect. Mr. Smooth. Uh, I, I, I was a right-hander. I couldn't, I, I couldn't shoot left-handed to save my life. Me either. I, I, can, I, I can't eat soup left-handed with a spoon. Yeah. I like his form. His form's just everything steady. Nothing, just the elbow down to the hand moves. Yeah. He's yeah. got that nice timing mm -hmm. on his delivery. He grew up in Toronto playing under or uh, around Alex Pagulian for uh -huh. years and years and years. Yeah. You can see he's a tough customer. His form's good, everything, yeah. Ridiculously low heartbeat also. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like that. Instead of him just trying to pinch it in and draw it back, I like players that let their stroke out a little bit, go to their own belt yeah. you know. Yeah. That's when you know you're playing good. Good job there, taking advantage of the uh, error by Jason Shaw. Well, see, it's it's two to one now. It's uh, John Mora, but it, it could have easily, and I do say easily, been three nothing. Oh, yeah. The other way. Yeah. Yeah, what dictates the outcome of these matches is the volume of unforced errors, mm -hmm. and you cannot take anybody in this field lightly at all. It's, you will pay. Yeah. Race to 10. I know when we play golf, you know, we gamble each, uh, amongst each other, but like I tell them, it's, listen, it's not who plays the best, it's who gives the most holes away, Yeah. you know, basically. Yeah. So, and it's the same way with pool. Well, these mistakes usually always wins. Almost always in pool, way more racks are lost than one, meaning that you got a chance that you really didn't deserve. You know, it's not, mm -hmm. and, and players at this level, they can definitely make their own openings. They don't need any help, but at lower levels, for sure, way more racks are lost than one. Right. Well, Mr. Smooth would like to be productive on this break and uh, take advantage of the momentum, continue the momentum here. I want to see if he... He, I know he watched Jason break two times in a row, and he's not breaking from where Jason broke from. And Jason hit him. So, yeah, I would. When when a guy was having success breaking, I used to just follow him. 
Mm-hmm. If I, you know, if I wasn't breaking good or something, so we'll see. He needs, two, to, he needs to hit him square here. The two and the eight ball, the balls he's trying to play in the side, right behind the one ball. Neither one. Okay. He make he made the one in the side. What an odd collection of balls there. The four, eight, and three lumped up on the side. Oh my. And now, oh boy, yeah, it is ugly because you have to push out, looks like. The unusual arrangement of balls here. I'm not so sure. He's looking at maybe, no, maybe not. <clears throat> I don't mind that. Give him a shot. Oh, no. Not that. You know I, what I can't figure out? He was just trying to give him a shot on the two. That's what he was trying to With do. With the wrong angle. But why didn't he just turn around and shoot it back this way? I mean, yeah. I, I don't understand. Yeah. That it was just a middle mistake. That's all it was. He should have just turned around and shot it. And you then know, you'd have no chance to scratch. Yeah. I mean, exactly. Now, Jason, he may well go three foul rule here. Yeah. He's got him on I one. I wouldn't blame him. And I think he can tangle. He know, might be trying thinking. to make the 10 and just punch. The, <laughs> he'll just punch that. Cu the, the cue ball will just punch under the three. I'll play the 10 and the safe. Yeah. I see yeah, what you're I saying. So. You don't get as good a safety out of it, but you do have a chance to win right here, too, which is clearly what he's doing. Cause he, and if he doesn't make it, John will have a one real kick. On right. The That's the... Look at that nice hit. Look at that nice hit he made. Mm -hmm. My goodness. Eagle Eye. <laughs> yeah, Eagle Eye can quickly offset some mistakes with firepower. Well, he needs to shoot the same shot almost that he shot uh, when he rolled out. Just two rails and <laughs> right? But he's jacked up, but yeah. Yeah, he's right over the top of the three. So it's yeah. a, he needs to go ahead and hit this ball pretty hard to get any kind of spread on him once he hits it. It's not an easy ball to hit. Well, he good did job. hit it hard. Good job there. Yeah. I guess it was. Now this is tough for Eagle Eye, too. Yeah. What, what is he going to do? Just make it and then go down and then, yeah. and then play think, the three and come back and snooker him? Yeah, try to cut the three up into the four and mm -hmm. then use the eight and just get the cue yeah. ball across. The, I guess that's what he's doing. He, Surely wouldn't risk oh, he going tried into to him. Break him out. He did. Oh my! Now he's still okay because he can still yeah. play his shot. So he was protected here. Yeah. So now it's just ease the three up to the four. Yeah. And Mora figures to hit this pretty easily, yeah. but it's very hard for him to play defense from here. You're kind of exposed. You're sort of naked here. You're just going to have to rely on the pool god. So he's thinking he can thin it. I think he's just going to barely touch it and oh, go behind the eight. Just hit it so soft. Well, excuse me. Maybe he was playing. I, I, and he made a ball yeah, on the side. I didn't see that shot. <laughs> <laughs> that was an Ephraim shot. Yeah. I didn't see that. Well, I don't think he saw it either. Uh, I think it just happened. I think he just was really, he just shot up in the air, didn't he? <laughs> I, mean, well, I, I know he had a plan, but it, uh, it's such an awkward well, plan that we don't know what that plan was. But I think he can make this in the side and go three rails for position. And the one thing that you can't blame him because he was trapped pretty good. He had to make something happen from nothing. He's going to roll it in the corner. Am I, am I seeing this right? It looks like he's just going to roll it in the corner. Be a pretty shot if he connects. <sighs> Boy. Nervy. Yeah. It takes good courage to make this one. Sure did. Look at that. Very Beautiful shot. shot. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, death from above right there. That I sit here and watch this, and I amaze myself that I used to be able to do this. <laughs> it's, just, it's been so long. Well, you still could if you train. Uh, no, no, no more training for me. Okay. I'm right, I'm right okay. where I belong in this seat. <laughs> 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 He'll just come out one rail. Spin it off. Shoot it in the opposite side of the tin. Gorgeous Good. shot. Yeah. Nice timing on that stroke yeah. again. That's mm -hmm. that nervy shot that people jump on it a little bit. Mr. Smooth goes through there nice and fluid. Now this shot 
for all players. I don't care how good you are or how great you are. This, these shots, you know, you, you got the corner in the way, your cue ball's on the rail. It's just, you know, it looks like he's using a little bit of English. This is not an easy shot. At all. No, no. Absolutely no. not. And they make it, and it looks effortless, but it's a, it's definitely a missable ball. Mm -hmm. Look at how much inside spin yeah. they put on that and made it. So, yeah. Great job. Good there. angle. I would say just pound that ball into the corner pocket, come out one rail. Uh -huh. He thumped it home. He had to have some power on there to get this cue ball to trickle over here where it's at now. There's a lot of pressure, you know, trying to uh, be a great player, trying to maintain your uh, position. I mean, it's just always, they're always gunning for you, you know. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Yeah, it's an axiom of uh, it's one thing to be number one. It's another thing to stay number one. Yeah. yeah everybody, you got a target on your back. and yeah. Everybody's Super yes, Bowl indeed. playing you. What a nice shot he made on the three ball. Yeah, it was. Get out on this rack. I mean, he's not out yet, but, you know, like, I, I just expect him to sort of out, really. Yeah, let's get the fighter. 3-1 now is our score. Shaw will be breaking here. I'll tell you what, Jason's had uh, every game. Every game he's had a chance to uh, to win or put him in a, you know what I'm saying? Well, uh, the one thing here, uh, and it's great, you know, that Mora did luck a ball on the side, but he cashed it in, you know, because yeah. it's one thing, you, it's not fortunate if you don't win with it, you yeah. know, it's, it's just random and things happen in 10 ball. And he was sort of in a bad spot. It wasn't going to be easy to play safe, so he, he thinned that ball, hoping for something good to happen. Um, I think he was thinking about getting safe or hoping it would turn out tough. And he lucked the ball on the side, made that long shot that you referenced, and then cashed it in with a nice, clean run out. Yeah, I never did, you know, I never did mind uh, lucking a ball in. I just, you know, I just went about my business. I lucked one in. Okay, I played it. You know, let's go on. What's yeah, right. Next, what's my next ball? Nope. You know? it, it's going to happen it both ways. You're going to yeah. get them, and they're going to do it to you, too, if that bothers you. Because there is a certain element of luck, but... You, you, it can't be that much luck. Otherwise, are you saying that Kim Davenport was the luckiest player that ever lived to win all those tournaments? You know, <laughs> yeah. You know, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. So. Good square hit there. Oh, I love the way he's breaking the balls. If he gets his game going, if he's breaking like this, I mean, I, I, you know, this is the first match, uh, of course, but uh, it's so important. And this yet break. again, you see that ball right behind the one drifting into the side. Right. He's wicked good on that. I don't know if the, what... What makes it happen, where you break from, what speed you use. Or if, I don't know exactly, but he's just really good at that. I really can't tell. I'm looking at the five ball. I can't tell if the five goes by the nine because I think everything else is pretty much uh, out there. He just has to roll this in, and then uh, I, 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 I look for him to pretty much uh, win this game. But, I, you know, all the players, you know, the great players, when the tables open, I always think mm -hmm. they're going to run out almost every time. But sometimes yeah. it doesn't happen. Pretty nice there. He might be able to get on the inside of that five if he doesn't want to play it. He could play it in the side or he could play it back in the corner where the green six ball is sitting. I think he'll just shoot it in the side and roll out one rail, shoot the five. It looks like it'll go. Yeah, it didn't go. Okay, so he's back over there in the corner. Who is speeds he off is just a smidgen, yeah. not way off, but just a little off. Now he may have to go three rails or something here, more travel than he wants. He might run into the ten. That's a nice call. Yeah, good call, Kim. Okay. You know, players, they all, and I don't know I always did. I didn't mind shooting a tough shot, but I always like to get, you know, Straight in, you know, the straight in mm -hmm. shots, those were the ones that I really liked. <laughs> this could be a little bit dicey here. I mean, you know, because the, the shooting the, the balls in the side pocket, uh, these these side pockets are very tight. That looks pretty nice there. Yeah. Good speed. 
Well, if he's straight in, I think he'll just shoot it in the corner, won't he? No, he's going to shoot it in the side. I think he has okay. a little lot. He can just pull it back okay, a little bit. Yeah, all right. Now he doesn't have to do anything until it's yeah. a cue ball. Okay, it looks like he's back on track. That's good. Yeah, Eagle Eye is a tough customer on these 5x10s. Yes. I, I bet he wishes every tournament was on the 5x10. Yeah, I would say so. All right, first break and run out of the match now as Eagle Eye captures the game. Three to two more in front. See how fast he gets through those balls, though, and, and, yeah. and with care, too. You know, it's not like he's just reckless about it. Yeah, he plays it a nice clip. I like that. That's very fan friendly, mm -hmm. commentator friendly too. By the way, yeah, <laughs> makes it, it keeps you engaged and keeps the energy up. Yeah. Well, I know when I first started playing out on tour, I, I was I was pretty quick, and then it, through the, as I got older, I slowed down a little bit. But uh, going at a nice speed, it, it, it's good. One of the things I always marveled at your game was how straight your backswing was. I don't know of any other pro players that come back with the cue as straight as you do. Is that something you innately had? Or you I, I trained used to it? practice when I was uh, first started about this Coke bottle. You lay it down and yeah. stroke your cue through the Coke bottle. Yeah. Try to hit the end of it. You know, just come to the end and stroke it through that Coke bottle with the cue. I mean, that, that's the only thing I can figure out why. It was but, I mean, I, do you know what I'm saying? Or, no, yeah, yeah, I know exactly I mean, what you're it was saying, straighter yeah. on the backswing. Yeah. It was always like, I was yeah. always like, damn, that is good. And I never like to move anything but the elbow and the hand. I thought everything else should stay very still. And you were, oh, yeah, you would stand there and deliver it very courageously, and the body wouldn't give you away. It didn't, like, when you see somebody flinch their body, no matter what they say, they're scared. Right. You, exactly. you were not. You were rock solid. Here we go again. He had a good break last time. This time it's the three and the four ball, or three and the five ball. No, three and the four ball. So those balls are not going in for Mora. I think he's hitting him too hard after watching Jason break. Yeah. My opinion only. Sometimes you can't hit him too hard. You know that. You know, let off a little bit. Yeah. You know, it seems like I, would, well, I would definitely go to school on uh, Jason's break. If he's making them from the other side of the table, I would definitely shift. You don't have all day in Jason, so you don't want him yeah. to get in a rhythm here, which he can do whether you like it or not. But you want to take advantage of any little crumb of percentage you can get here playing him. All right. Real first, he has to be careful not to scratch. And he's going to have a good stroke of luck to get a shot on the two after he makes it. Oh, he missed it. Okay. He I just, just swerved a little bit more than yeah, he anticipated yeah. is all. It, it just dug in on him. and uh, it wasn't a bad ball. Yeah. He, he hit the right shot. It's just a, right. You what know, do you connect. see, Mark? One's going up behind the five and the ten and cue ball behind the uh, four ball and the six, something like that. Yeah, we're going to see separation. Unless he, sure. might, he might go down to have the cue ball, but I doubt it. Yeah, he did. Okay. He just went the opposite of what I said. And here's Jason's replay on that. Yeah. Just dug in. Just dug in too much on him. He might have thought the table's slipperier than it is, or maybe the table's got a little more grab than he thought. Oh, pretty nice hit, but not going to be rewarded. Yeah, I think he was trying to send the one back up. Back up along the rail there. Pretty nice draw stroke mm -hmm. there. Yeah, yes it was. He's gonna have to do the same thing now, I would think. Nope, he's gonna. I guess he could go back and forth. I might shoot it inside. I thought he was gonna draw back past the side pocket and play the three in the side pocket where it's sitting. That's what, I, that's what yeah. I mean. I'm thinking that's what he's gonna do. Come back at him. Yeah. Oh, he hit the point. <sighs> Disappointed if it goes just another half an inch, he's golden. Up. Is he kicking at it, I guess? 
Yeah, I guess you will go back down table. Three will go by the eight. He's kicking. No, he tried to make it. That would have been an Ephraim special. Ephraim would have kicked that ball and made separation <laughs> and you know, stuck him down there behind the ball, guaranteed. I don't know if he would have made it. But he would have hit it for sure. He, 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 your, his opponent wouldn't be shooting straight in like he is now. <laughs> right. If Ephraim was shooting a shot. Well, momentum has changed. You know, this game's so tough. You know, in practice, you can hit a ball a hundred times when you're practicing. You know, in a tournament, you know, you get one shot at it. Yeah. Yeah. Went a little strong there, didn't he? Yeah. Oh, he, he'll just shoot it in the corner, I believe. I can't imagine him shooting it anywhere else. We were young men. If somebody had to shoot a tough shot for my life, I would pick Mike Siegel. But today, I got to say, I would take Jason Shaw. Right. And, and he's he's gotten so contrite. You know, if you say, hey, who shoots straighter, you or Filler? He'll just look at you and say, oh, Filler does. But he doesn't believe those words. He just <laughs> said it because he don't care what you think. He, know, right. he knows what he can do. Is, right. if he, exactly. He's not into the bragging where when he was a young man, it was all ego out there. But since right. he got married and we got kids, he's... And he developed go. his game. He's got his defensive game on much better than he ever used to have it. He used to just rely on offense. And just If it's a safety game, he'll let you have that because he's going to smother you on the offensive games. Right. But now he's become a more complete player. Right. Well, just let your credentials do your talking for you. That's all you need to do. That's, uh, that's undisputable. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's no opinion on that. Oh man, eagle just, eye! Wow. And and coming up Ooh. short now. That's criminal because you got you can go all, you can go another three feet and it'd still be fine. I mean, I think he'll make the ball, but he what he has to do now is worry about a scratch somewhere. So uh, now he has to manipulate the cue ball, right? Which makes the shot a little harder. But he yeah. eased it home. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One time I was talking to Rimpy. And uh, we were talking about running 100 balls. And, and so he goes, Mark, uh, when you run 100, out of that 100, uh, how many times do you think you play an 80% shot? And I was thinking about it, and I think probably like every rack, maybe a couple times. You know, I think because I'm thinking 80% is good. He right. says, well, that's, that's four out of five. So you'll never run 100 playing 80% <laughs> shots because by the time you get to the fifth rack, you're going to miss one. Oh, it was dawned on me like, oh, yeah, I never thought about it. He was saying that I got to work harder to get more ninety percent shots. Is what he was right. really saying. And then John Schmidt said it. You know, like a routine shot that you know you're going to make that you never miss. That's a one shot difficulty, and one that's just slightly harder is a two, and then one that you can usually make is a three, and one that is you know fifty fifty or four. You got to play more one to ones and one to twos. You can't just be going up and down the table randomly. And it was, it was a such a nice way to express it. From right. someone, you know, he broke it down real simple. It dawned on me, boy, that is true. I'm playing eighty percent shots <laughs> every third shot, and Reyes is playing them every seventh shot. Well, you know who wins at the end, you know, exactly. but he works harder and gets better. All right, Shaw. Now here's these two end balls, six and the seven this time, right? It's been there. perfect One. on the break so far. There's a six draining right into the side. He's not going to come up with a shot, but he can play safe. And just like what you said, he retains control of the table. Now he can maybe do something here favorable. You know, he does have a bank shot, but I, I just don't know how, you know, I, I don't know if that's on or really. I mean, he can bank it down in the corner, I think. But there you see that in the premier billiards replay. The ball going well, sifting in the it. side. Come down, try to get behind the 10 and the 8. Oh, he went for the two. Yeah, but I don't think he got it. No. He had the right idea there, but I just don't. Uh, I don't know. Are you looking like he can make it? Maybe. Just little things like that can cost you everything. It costs you a match. Just a little bitty. Oh yeah. One little tick here, a tick there. Well, if he makes it, he'll have. Shape. He should just come down table and bounce off the end rail. Mr. Smooth, nice stroke. I don't think he's in a good position, though. Maybe a bang. Ball got away from him a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. 
he's going to have to go two rails and kick the tape, kick the ball down, down table, I believe. Some people won't know, but uh, John Moore is a tremendous bank pool player, and he he won the event at the Derby before, and he's gone deep every single year. Oh, I don't like this shot. Is he jumping? I, I don't know, but I I don't like it. But I, that's why I'm sitting here. Yeah, I guess it was kind of like a half jump uh, bank. Shortened it up too much. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is nicely set up for Eagle Eye. Yes, it is. Well, he may have to play this with a bridge or right hand. Oh, behind his back. Okay. All ball fouls, mindful to not bump the seven. Yeah. Just keep your angle on the ball here and you should be fine. He would have liked to have been a little further on the other side there, so he's... Uh, he got just a hint the yeah, wrong angle it, here. Uh, yeah, his angle wasn't good there. I Anything. Mean, uh, you know, I'll you could, you could actually be quite a bit on the other side of this five ball and be fine. It's just he got that little funny, and these pockets might, are sensitive. He might let his stroke out here, I mean, and really unleash it. Well, he has that stroke, too. There he yeah. goes. I'll tell you what. I, you know, this is the first time I've ever watched him play live. Uh, I know he's a great player, but I think something's going on. It's those, those, he's usually out all the time when I'm watching on the internet. And he has that, he can get into that, but he also has these little phases where he tries to maybe rely a little bit too much on his talent rather than maybe play. Yeah, right. He should have worked harder to get a better angle, my belief. Yeah, I mean. Uh, where he didn't have to pound that ball. Here's Mr. Smooth. He's not going to get rewarded. No. Nice attempt, though, from that range. Yeah. Yeah, he's just going to pound this. He'll hit a little hard, hit it full, come straight back one rail. That was how straight it was. He actually hit it pretty well. Mm -hmm. Now, when he's going good, he makes this look like a valley bar table. I'm telling you, he just <laughs> rifles these in effortlessly. Like, and it it must be very freeing to play like, well, how would you miss this? Is it, in his mind, I'm always worried about God. I hope I make it. <laughs> Eased it home. Mm -hmm. And Jason well, Shaw will be back in front four games to three here. I'll tell you what, he was fortunate to win this game a couple of times. And I really can't fault Moore's effort on the bank either because it was a pretty nice hit from an awkward range, but there wasn't an easier decision. Or sometimes you're exposed where you have to shoot, and that was that time. Yeah. Yeah, he, I don't even, he didn't even look like he was thinking about playing safe there. He just up and... Well, I mean, once he, it wasn't like he wasn't that he just realized there wasn't a very good safety available. He chose to go down shooting. Made a nice pass at it. It would have been in on a nine-foot table. Yeah. Well, I never was one to play too much safe anyway, so. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. It's turned into a... A match here, four to three, and they're both really not, uh, really not playing that well. To be honest with you, I wonder what their accuracy stats are. Oh, they'll be up here in a moment. Usually, right around the mid-match, we get an update. <coughs> mm -hmm. Okay, finally, he's moved over to where Jason's been breaking from. Okay. Six and eight ball. It, it took him a little while, but uh, well, we all have our favorite oh, place. Yeah, you know, well, so. yeah, but but <laughs> my favorite place is where the balls are going. Good square break there. The six ball at least threatened the side pocket. Mm -hmm. Looked like the five ball rattle. No, what ball was that? Three ball. 
No. Two. Oh, no. Oh, the ball that went in, you mean? Yeah. Seven ball. Oh, seven ball. Okay. It went four rails, it looked like to me. Here's our premier billiards replay. There's the seven ball. Worked its way home. I think he's going to stick him right behind the two here. Bring I had one. to guess. Yeah, bring the one all the way down mm -hmm. table. He wants to freeze him right up against that two. He's queuing up like he's cutting it. He might be playing the with cue ball off the three. No, you're right. Too hard. Mm. Not by a mile. Yeah. No, maybe but he give, he give yeah. him that out to maybe kick underneath the six or something there. Well, he might or be able to go straight a. at it. I think he almost can go straight at it. Hit the yeah. edge. I think he's got to curve it a little bit, Mark. Not much, though. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Yeah, he's definitely twisting it. That's a good shot. Yeah. Nice open looks layout good. now. Yeah, everything looks good here. Three down for the four. You know, really the only thing he has a problem with, and I don't think it's a problem, is from the four to the five. You know, you get good on the six, eight, nine. They're all they're all right there. I think I said that earlier, and he stubbed his toe, didn't he? <laughs> it happens pretty easily. Yeah. Did you ever play on a 5x10 much, Kim? Uh, snooker. American snooker only. There wasn't no 5x10 table anywhere where I grew up playing. And no, I never did, to answer your question, no. That was the standard up until the late 1950s. So all the masters of the sport, Greenleaf, right. Crane, Moscone, Lassiter, Karras, they all grew up on five by tens. Right. Well, it looks like stop, roll, stop. <clears throat> you might have to go up table on this. You sure did. Now those are the kind of shots I like right there. A shot he's shooting on the nine. <laughs> <laughs> Straight in. I'll tell you what, you get a two game lead when it's alternate break. I always thought that was you know yeah, kinda big. big. Yeah. Just because now that now that your opponent has to win three games in a row before he can take the lead. That's triple tough to do people in this. There's 16 players, elite players in this event. Single elimination. $8,000 top prize. 4000 the second. 2000 right. and fourth. Win two matches, you're in the money. Wow. Jason shooting a 900. He's pocketing a lot of balls. 54. Yeah. That really tells the tale. At the end of the match, all you have to do is look, tell me who made the most balls. That's all you need to yeah. know. Era six, era seven on Mora. The pink four ball and the six ball are the balls he's going after here on the side pocket. There's a four tracking dropped in. 
It'll be steady on that straight one. in. Look out, nine. No, nine's in the way. That uh, denies offense, I think, from here. No combination? Uh, it's, it's pretty far apart. Looks like he's just going to park the cue ball there and bring the... Yeah. Pretty good job there. Yep. Ooh, look at this. That's real awkward. Yeah. There's nothing good here at all. Unless he, well, I don't even think he can twist I think it. Two rails, about the only. Well, <laughs> he might be able to twist it. I'll tell you one thing I would take a look at here is can I make uh, trouble and just take a foul? Is there, is there any place I can possibly <laughs> tie something up? And it's pretty hard to do from here, so that's not easy. Not, I, I do like this route. He's going two cushions. Yeah, opens up everything. Well, it's a clear path, you know. It's a little bit more natural to get to this. It's still hard. So he has to roll right shield. over the spot. If he rolls right over the spot, he'll hit it. What a shot. What a nice shot that was. It surely was. And look at the dividend he got out of that. Just from not giving up ball in hand. This rack lays wide open if Jason gets ball in hand. Meanwhile, he's got to... Well, he has to actually consider maybe playing another safety. Now he's looking at back cutting the ball past the nine, which would lead the cue ball in the right area. He wouldn't cut it in the side? Well, I think the cue ball gets so hot. You know. well, the three will block it. Not. Yeah, maybe. maybe. Not. I don't know. If Well, if he can go, he's looking at the cut only because he can right. control the cue ball and filter onto the two. But you're right. It's probably a little bit easier shot cutting it into the side. I mean, he shoots so straight. Oh, all right. <laughs> Look at that shot. Look at that shot right there. That's world-class pool right there. The speed was nice. Execution was great. Well, now can he get on the three in some kind of fashion here? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think he wants to shoot the combination. Definitely not sure. that. No, he's just going to come below it. Yeah, nice idea. Nice it's idea. Looks like he's going to be just really about good. Perfect. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I, when the when the two ball was still up there and you had to play it, I would be delighted if you say this is what you're going to get. <laughs> I would be delighted with this exactly. from that range. This would be about a decade ago. There was a guy that used to come around. His name was Jeff Conway. And he told me that there's this guy he's bringing over from England. And Jeff, he liked money, so he always brought over good players and that nobody ever heard of. And he goes, it's Eagle Eye, they call him. And uh, no one can beat him. And I'm like, oh, okay, sure. <laughs> you know, but by golly, he was right about that. Uh, Jason Shaw showed me something over the years I've never seen before. Yeah. He makes it look awful easy, doesn't he? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he used to say there's not much to natural ability, but by golly, if anyone has it, it is this guy. It, but to, to say that sort of demeans the effort he's put into it, too, but he is a remarkable talent. Well, it looks like he's taking control of this match. And once again, it wasn't a break and run out, but he took advantage of it. He made a ball in the break, played a killer safety. Mora came up with a tremendous hit, that two-reel kick, and then yet Eagle Eye here comes up with this replay shot right here on the one. Yeah, he made a very nice shot. Perfect speed. Yeah. Gorgeous. <laughs> he has that nice rhythm. He's asking now if he can take a break. Uh, I'm not sure. Ken Schumann has informed that it has to be on his inning. Yeah. That makes sense. It's not fair to the other player to have to wait when it's his turn. Exactly. Shaw now at 914 clip over there, right? 914? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's world class pool for sure. Even the 870s world-class pool on a 5x10. 
pro. Yes, it is. Pro on a so. four and a half by nine. But you get over 900 on a five by ten, you're doing something. Okay, six three yard score. More breaking. Well, I think they found their break spot there. That's. I think they're they're both going to break from there from now on. <clears throat> the three and the four, and they're making the side. Did make a ball in the back corner pocket. He's going to get a shot. He deserves a shot. He got a shot. Mm -hmm. Nice layout here. Yeah, it's just a little tight getting position on the two, but uh, once he does that, he should be fine. Here's a replay. Nice little kiss. Eight ball trickles mm -hmm. back there. You know, Buddy Hall says don't play position when you have position, meaning stop the ball right here and just take the angle and the long shot rather than try to get closer and get tangled up. Well, I know Buddy. He played position better than anybody in my era. I'll tell you that much. He was always perfect in line. Morrow, nice draw Look stroke. Out. Is he going to get out there? Uh, no, 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 no. That, I thought he should have followed it up and shot in between the four and the was, five and took the long shot. But it was that in-between stroke. It would be like a, a half a three iron or something, something weird, you know, that you don't do that often. Well, these, yeah, all great players have that, you know, they have the ability to. Oh, definitely you know, that. Yeah, definitely that. But it was it a feel thing. It wasn't an easy thing to do, what you're saying either. Maybe the angle was such that he couldn't really stop the ball, like I said, so. But nevertheless, things got tangled up here. He's going to have to try to chip the two ball into the end rail here off the side. He could rail. catch something in the side here. Oh, he was kicking. I thought he could hit the edge. He couldn't even do that. Okay. <laughs> Look at this shot. This will be a pretty one. <laughs> Eagle Eye sees his dead. Yeah. <laughs> Shouldn't be a well. I say shouldn't be a problem. Combinations aren't easy no matter what. They oh, look like. this is a foot and a half apart. This is not an easy one here. Oh yeah. my! Yeah. Eagle Eye overdid it there. Yeah. I, I wish he would have tamed the stroke. Down. He kind of went warp drive to try yeah, to get separation. Yeah, he did. He just kind of. He came back. He yeah. prepped. You know, the, it was interesting too because he prepped a shorter swing, and then the last one he went way back and ripped it. You know, so. I mean, John has to feel like he found something. Here. Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. I agree with you. This is a big game. If he don't win this game, he's in serious trouble. He should be fine, but it's just tough when you just can't. Every shot seems to be it just off. It's not quite, you know, yeah. another inch, two or three. Yeah. yeah, and it just makes every shot like You're so right. difficult. Yeah. Easily compounds on you. Jeff Carter used to say that's like pulling teeth to run this rack. Oh, yeah. Well, every rack's a puzzle, I mean, to be honest with you. And the thing about playing a uh, rotation game, you know, uh, the the puzzle, you know, the, the, the pieces don't have to fit perfect because you have six pockets. Yeah. So, you know, you, you can maneuver yourself around, but uh, you made a nice shot there. Yeah, even the eagle eye was clapping in his chair. Yeah, he recognized that was a good shot. I think he has a hint of an angle, so the six ball won't be a problem. Yeah, I think he's going to shoot it back over uh, in the pocket he just made the last ball in. I could be wrong. I, it just doesn't look like if he just rolls it up, he could he could take a chance on uh, scratch, uh, not scratching, but getting snookered. I think he'll go over to the side rail and shoot it back in that corner. No, he held it. Okay, good shot. And things are deceptive from this range too. We, he's got he knew he could control it comfortably, and we're thinking he's got more angle than that. Right. That would be risky.
Coming out two rails, is he? Or drawing it? I think he's drawing across one rail. Not or even any back. rails. But I don't think he wished he had a rail now. He's got to warp it behind the side pocket. And then that makes position because now yeah. you, it's not creating the direction, but then your speed control has got to be right, too. Yeah, this the, the, the players, they, they don't seem to have a problem making the ball, it doesn't seem like. But getting that position, getting perfect, you know, it's it, it's difficult. I think especially on this 5x10, as you mentioned earlier, though, it's really if you're if they're all out in the open, it, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. But Nice. You don't want to be straight in. I think he has an angle. Right, he does, but you still have to take that chance because mm -hmm. it's that last inch. You you play the shot right and just hope for the best. Yeah, he'll it draw it right. back. There you go. Okay, uh, uh, much needed game for John. Yeah. yeah, you were right. This was kind of where the match could get away from you. And now Jason says I'm going to <laughs> the restroom. Six four still very doable. Quite a bit different than seven three, that's for sure. Sure is. A lot of nine ball action, hotter table. All the great there's Chris Robinson playing, I see that. Yeah, see a blue out there. Yeah. See Ralph Suquet's over there playing. Ralph's been playing uh forever. <laughs> yeah. Still out there pounding away. Still playing really good, too, I hear. Ralph always plays good because oh, he's, yeah. I mean, everything he does is is as yeah. perfect as he can possibly do it. Yeah, he, he spent a lot of time in front of a 747, I'll tell you that much. Yep. I know. You could make a living off his frequent flyer miles. Nice gentleman, too. Okay, eagle eye breaking now. Looks like it's the five and the four. Oh, oh yeah, a little miss hit. Uh, okay, the five didn't threaten the pocket. A little else. miss hit there. You notice how the cue ball didn't come straight back that time. Yeah. You know, he must not have asked him to uh, take a break because he didn't. No, I it must it, have been something which made else. me think maybe it was just a purely. Uh, Ploy to uh, let the guy think about he's losing. <laughs> and now it's not as important to him to go to the bathroom. Right. <laughs> yeah, at the pro level, there is some psychological warfare that goes on, too. Oh, yeah. Well, is, he, is this on? Is he going to attack here? Tell you what, it looks like it. Yeah, it the way he's lining up, looks like he's going to cut it in. Cue ball hits the eight and stops for the two down in the corner. Boy, <laughs> how about that? This. What that's, a, that's unbelievable. He got a little cold-blooded roll there. Yeah. Oh, he hit that ball good. He still has a shot, but he would have been a lot better off. Now the angle is, you know, he's got to worry about scratching and. Catching the point. If he makes the ball, he'll be he'll be just fine. Just has to pocket the ball. Center cut. What a gorgeous hit that was. Yeah, I like the last shot, the one ball shot. I mean, he, he hit that ball perfect, and the cue ball came and he smacked could, the eight just like he wanted. Just mm -hmm. like you called it, he couldn't <laughs> hit it any square. Yeah, yeah, it looked good. He's got to draw one rail out to the center. Oh, he even had to introduce some uh, side spin, uh, inside spin there to kill the cue ball and check mm -hmm. it up. So, an interesting shot. Yeah, he just needs to shoot this ball, bounce out. He'd like to be straight in <coughs> on the five ball. And uh, 
Getting on the seven ball, he's going to have to probably play it in the side, either that or play a combination. Players don't like playing combinations. It looks like the nine and the uh, eight has both corners covered down there. He's checking it out now. Well, maybe not. So it looks like he can filter. He's going to bring the cue ball to the end rail and, and just draw down one rail to get into the corner pocket past the nine with the seven. So just roll the head here two feet. Yeah, if I was going to do it, if I was going to do that, I'd rather went two rails. I'd rather my cue ball bend towards the side and spin it two rails out and down. Now he has to worry about the nine ball. Well, and the speed control. Get good, if he wants to get good position, he has to worry about the nine here. Either I come underneath the nine, I would say come three rails underneath it, just send it down. I don't know. He might be going side rail, side rail, off the end rail, drop down, and then come back up towards the seven. Yeah, just, get just under, the I think underneath the nine. Yeah. There you go. Now, there's now the shot. English will spin back up. Good shot. Really? <laughs> good execution. Nice. Good plan. Mm -hmm. Got there effortlessly. That was side rail, side rail, end rail, and back at the seven. The key ball kind of naturally wants to go that path rather than wrestle with it, try to fight it to go somewhere that's unnatural. I'll tell you what, he's fighting to get back in this conversation, isn't he? Yeah. Anyone that switches hands, you know they're tenacious. <laughs> you know, if you learn to play left-handed when it's not your dominant hand, you've got to be a tenacious guy to suffer the bruises and batteries that takes. I just like how steady he is. Mm -hmm. He's so steady over the table. Well. <coughs> Straw it straight back. Watch the speed control, how good these players are. Beautiful. Look at this. <laughs> Just, you know, perfect. Don't ever have to worry about missing this ball. And John Mora pulls back a game off of Shaw's break. 6-5 is our score, and he really had to gut out a tough rack there. Remember what you called the thin cut? Stop mm -hmm. the cue ball in the eighth, and the eight ball goes all the way down the table, comes back and clips the cue ball. Puts him in a little bit more. And then he had to smooth the two ball in. Then draw with inside spin to get from the three to the. Yeah, he had three real good shots to that. Right? My goodness. And then steady on all the rest of them, too. He never, after that, he got in line and never was a threat. He's up to 868 on his total performance average. Really good. Yeah. Jason's looking. He says panic's out of the question. <laughs> yeah, I remember we were in Dayton, Ohio or something. And I bet Buddy Hall and Earl Strickland 100 a piece that I would shoot a 900. And I wind up shooting a 901. <laughs> and Pat remembered that 30 years ago at the Hall of Fame bank when he had blurted it out. That was funny. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Needs a good slice of luck here. Get a shot. Okay, the eight ball didn't go in. Six ball right in the pocket. Okay, this is exactly what he yeah. didn't need. Yeah. <laughs> Two balls were in and then didn't go. And uh, just a really misfortune. He hit him nice and square. You can see by the cue ball stopping out there. Uh oh, Jason's overhit this? No, he's okay.
this is one of those shots where he's going to have to really pound, and I mean hit it hard. Yeah. Very hard and bounce off the rail and go in between the seven and the eight. Either that or draw it underneath the nine. Uh, yeah, around the nine is uh, one possibility because pounding it, boy, you, well, he has that shot, though. He does have super power power. Oh, he tried to go one rail. Got there, kind of hooked. I think, yeah, I think he's hooked. He's looking. No, oh, he's not completely hooked. He just can't make yeah. the ball. Unless he half mass A's or something. No, he couldn't even make the ball. And did he get That's the seven in nice there? Shot that there. was yeah, delicate. Very nice. It was it was never good to the last roll. <laughs> That's not fun to play shots like that. I like kicking the ball down. Down table underneath the nine ball and getting the three ball down by the six and the uh, ten. Cue ball maybe get behind the uh, seven ball there. Got to hit it pretty full. I hit it too thin. He had enough of it to hit it. But disappointed. I know John has to be, wow, excited to get back to the table. He can tie this match up. Yeah. Here. Not yeah. starting off with a very easy shot. Mm -hmm. It's not, you know. So when those, right. when those balls are frozen, you know, it, it looks easy, even though it's kind of like straight in. It's just, it's tough. Mr. Smooth made it look yes, he don't want to get really over good. the eight. He should be fine. It can hamper him just a little bit, but I, I think it'll be fine. Don't snooker yourself here. A lot of balls to get behind. Pretty nice full see, stroke. Yeah, see if you were if you were if he was the uh, right-handed, you could right. really do that because now you know. I mean, you could, but it definitely helps me. Well, is he going to shoot it in the corner? Or is he going to put a little English and come back and shoot it in the side? Oh, I think he's going to play it in the corner. Corner, just straight back. It's getting pretty. He wants to get close to his work here. Very nice. <clears throat> now he only needs to draw back just about where the cue ball is at now. It's like it'll work its way away from the cushion. Yeah, I think he's going to get off the rail a little more, too. Might cheat the pocket a little bit, see where I cheated it just a hair. Yeah. This shot plays so much easier from here than it does if it's on the cushion, that's for sure. I never did like shooting off the cushion. When I was a kid, we used to play, uh, you put the butt of your cue down. And yeah, the rail that's that. right. That's <laughs> right. Do they not allow that? <laughs> I, I don't think they do that anymore. I, I remember we'd be at a friend's <laughs> house. That's how we played, too. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you know, I thought about that 10, 11 time. years old, you don't, exactly. you know, you don't ever think. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Then you get to these pro tournaments, they start playing all strict where you can't do that anymore. Right, right. <laughs> oh, well, he's... Yeah, da, 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 da. Is he going to just go ahead and take his medicine or is he going to go all the way around the table? This is not exactly what he wanted. I think he's going to go, you know, three rails and play it in the you know, same side, the corner mm -hmm. pocket that the nine's going in. I don't think he's going to try to go all the way around. Again, watch the speed of these uh, players' control of the cue ball. One, two, and out. Yeah. 
then now it releases and kind of comes towards mm -hmm. the 10. That's always comforting feeling-wise. It gives you that sense like you were in control rather than you were hoping. Boy, what a good job there. 6-6. Oh, six, six. Yeah. Heck of yeah. a match we got going on here. Yes, his Accustats now has moved up to 885. And uh, Jason Shaw is at 892. So these players are playing. High level. Very close and high level, yes. Yeah. On this 5x10. Nice little run there. Jason was on a, I think he won five games in a row in the middle of this match. And then uh, Johns came back and won the last three. All so right. Yeah. It's all good. Yeah, Mr. Smooth, he doesn't let up. He gives it his all all the way through. If you beat him, you beat him, but you're going to have to take it away from him. Right. He's not giving it away. I like that, Jason. Look, just looking at his watch. Like, hey, what time is it? <laughs> you know. <laughs> What this Accurac does, it freezes all the balls. So all the balls are frozen because if you have any balls that's off in, in a rack, uh, and then when you break them, it, sometimes you'll just like you're throwing a sponge at them. So I think the players really like this rack. Freezes everything up. Little kiss out. Yeah, plus it's fair. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, both guys get a good rack, and it's it's not right. the intent of the referee to give a bad rack, but sometimes it still happens. It and just happens. It sure does. And this this gives you a greater consistency, so it's a little bit more fair. The only bad drawback is that sometimes the slow moving balls will get distorted a little bit at the end of the rack, but it right. offsets any kind of inconsistency, so it's sort of worth the trade off to most of us. Right. Well, it looks like you're just gonna. Cut it down in the corner and come two rails out. Get in the middle of the table. Two balls there. I believe. I mean, I, I, I mean that's the only shot I see. And the other thing is if he was going to try to play safe, which he oh. doesn't usually like to do. Okay, so. he, he went a little bit uh, reverse mm -hmm. on me there. He wanted to get close to his work. All right, what do you do here now? That's do you a go bit down? Funny. Do you mess with the six? Do you go in between the nine and the seven? Uh... You know, a couple of, couple of things to do here. Do you just come out by the other side pocket over there where the six is at and take the shot? you got to pound it pretty good if you're coming between the nine and the six rather than the uh, seven and the nine. But that's there where he's go. going. Look out. He don't want to kiss it. Ooh-wee. Good shot. That was. And it's sort of misfortune if you clip that just so lightly that it intrudes and blocks you. But you have to take a chance at some point. Yeah. Well, glasses down. Yeah, he's going to leave his extension on now. Okay, it all looks pretty, uh, I say simple. It's not because the players are so good they just stay in line. But uh, seven inside, eight in the corner, and... Uh, Straight in on the nine, straight in on the ten. He made a nice break there. You know, the cue ball and the one ball were together, so he had a nice, nice start shot, and uh, he's played it well. Yeah, once again, that uh, side pocket on the break coming into play. Right. Well, this is uh, not difficult, but. Uh, Little touch it. Spin, spin it out. Little inside spin, check yeah. it up. Very comfortably done. Perfect position. Tim ball goes down. Shaw regains the lead. Seven games to six by virtue of the second break and run out of the set.
Jason's winning, but he's made more errors. One more error than uh, John has. But he's pocketed um, uh, 20 more balls than he has also. 22, actually, to be exact. Yeah, we're back now. Here we go. All right. Live action. 7-6 is our score. Well, I don't believe John has broken run a wreck yet, has he? No. So uh, it would be... Uh, it would behoove him to do that right now. <laughs> yes, tie the score be up. a great time to do it. I, I just don't hit him too hard. I'm just afraid he's hitting him just too hard. Six and the three, the balls he's playing here. I said it's random. Six ball, oh, just a little bit long. He hit him very good. He didn't make one, though. He kind of missed fortune, though. I mean, look at his cue ball. He goes straight back, perfect. Yeah, but if you notice, Jason's ball really st kind of stays on the uh, surface. It doesn't mm -hmm, jump as much mm -hmm, as, mm -hmm. you know. So, I know we were talking about last time how David Howard always used to talk about breaking with a flat ball, mm -hmm. meaning that you don't have the cue ball hopping at impact because right. you lose a ton of ball action when you do that. He had about the best break I've ever seen, David. I'd have to agree. Okay, here uh, he's going to have to... Uh, tiptoe through this rack to get on this ball here. I mean, I, I, I don't see what he's going to do. Come underneath the six and maybe spin it out two rails. I mean, I, surely he's not going to go into the eight, the five, you know, the ten, and the nine ball there. I would say draw it. Draw it underneath. This will be a pretty shot. Look there at that. There you go. Did he get up? What a shot. He did. Oh, what, yeah, a shot. Shot. what a shot. What a shot. Maybe shot of the match right there. Get that position, the difficulty of it. Jason now requesting the bridge. So he doesn't get his extension and use with the bridge. He just uses the bridge. As and then look at he's going to shoot right-handed with the bridge on top right. of it. There's a few look players. Out. You know, Roberto Gomez is another one. He, he's a right-handed player, but uh -huh. he uses the bridge left-handed, which is the, the, I never understood that. So after that great shot, he didn't. Really yeah. play a great position shot right-handed here with the bridge. Yeah, he just, he just kind of punched it. Well, I, I really like uh, Roberto. He's a no. nice guy, too. Funny, he's always smiling. Oh, yeah. Great Cheerful. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, typical of the Filipinos. Got yeah. that happy-to-be-alive attitude. Now, this shot here, he might be able to jump it with his cue. Uh, I, I, I just don't know. He's leveling off. I don't know what he can do here. It doesn't look like it goes straight in. No, it didn't. Look at he tried to back cut that ball. Boy. I don't know about that. <laughs> but that's his nickname, Eagle Eye. Well, this is an invitation engraved in gold right here for John Mora. You know, in pool, and for those of you at home, when you have layouts like this, if you just cash these in, it's all, uh, well, it's very difficult to beat you. Because now the other oh, guy has yeah. to do something superhuman. If you just never give up uh, these runouts like this, if you get out from here every time, the guy's got to do something, you know, really good to beat you. Yeah, exactly. This is a sport of consistency. and You don't have to make hard shots, but you have to cash in all the balls that you should be getting. That was a nice shot he made right there. He should just come out two rails here. Beautiful. Yeah, Mr. Smooth, looking really good here. So nothing's really changed in 20 years since I played. They were not the same. Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, yeah. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, oh, it's it's all different. You know, it's not. Get a shot on the one and run out. Oh, I cannot my. believe what happened. That. There? That's bizarre. I cannot it, believe that. Well, well, we've all done it. We, oh, okay, absolutely, we've mm. done it. But that, uh, of all the shots, that was one I was, I'd given up on. I just assumed that, that one was down. Look at it. Here it is. He stayed still. He just missed it is all. Wow. Nice look on the replay there. Low angle. Mm. 
No, I, you know, and, and I've done this. I think players sometimes, they just take shots for granted, and you just never can do that. You, know, you just can't. I know. That just goes to show you right there. No such thing as an easy shot, right? That, that He's going to no make that 10,000 out of 10,000. Oh. Yeah. Well, Eagle but, Eye. Yeah. He has steals the game there. 8 6 now is their yeah, score. That, that what was a different game, too. Yeah. 7 <laughs> 7. That, seven. Was, that, was, that was a huge game. After, especially after Jason played that long back cut that it was a low percentage deal. And then I was just exclaiming, oh, no, just take care of this and you're good. Yeah, John's putting his head down shaking. I mean, I, I don't blame him. Well, that's gone. you got to get back up. You know, yeah, this. yeah. Unfortunately. And we, like you said, we've all done it. I mean, of course. Yeah, we've all done it. You know. The only people that never did that haven't played. That's yeah. the only people that haven't. And the thing about playing, uh, playing this great game, you know, you can't let one bad shot or one bad game affect the rest of the match. You right. Just can't, you know, you can't do it. You have to have a short memory. Nick Saban, the Alabama football coach, says that they go by the process. It's not winning the game, but it's the process of winning the game. And each play has a life and a, and a history of its own. And some of the plays are going to be negative, such as that last stroke. But if you give 100% on everyone, then the accumulation of that is the more likely path to victory. So. Right. Good square hit. See how much uh, easier he hit him? Plus, yep. his cue ball didn't jump very yeah. high. It kind of stayed flat on the... Uh, and then you can see the ball action. Mm -hmm. Coming through a ball action was good. There's a bunch yeah. of balls on the other end of the table. They, the they ball seem to spread side. a little better, right? Yep. No, 100%. Well, I would say one shot here. Shoot it, draw it to the uh, in rail or side rail, and boom. Yeah, if he connects on this, he's got a great chance. Oh, yeah. Hit that pure. I keep forgetting. You know, I'm looking. I keep forgetting it's a 5 by 10 <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking, okay, you know, 4 and a half by 9, blah, blah, blah. But... Uh, yeah, I, I think as good as he plays that this uh, shouldn't be no problem here. You know, there's a, another psychological aspect, too, that when the guy gives you a game and then you follow it up with a break and run out, it's just a dagger in the heart of yeah. <laughs> now. Yeah. It's like, oh, my goodness, I let that get away, and now it's cost me at least two games, blah, blah, blah. You start to... Well, it takes a toll. It's like body blows in boxing, yep. you know. And not at first, but you just keep pounding away. Well, what a break that was. He smothered it with grits and gravy, didn't he? Wow. Yeah. yeah. He's all nice rhythm now, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. You can see why him and Phil are fan favorites to watch because mm. it is, it's up tempo. It's going to be fun, and you're going to see something right. spectacular. Nine seven now. Third break and run out of the set. That's tough to beat on this table. It's hard to break and run out on this table because the pockets are so snug. Well, he's shooting a nine oh two. And even more as 866 is darn good. I mean, that's, that's right at the brink of world class for sure. And more can't be too far down. He's only three games to win. I mean, right? Or tie. Yeah. Yeah, tie. Yeah. Anyway. Well, I mean, he's, there can't be no more mistakes, and he needs some help from uh, Jason. So, right, right. And then, you know, Pool has some luck to it, but now you've availed yourself of having to depend on no bad luck from here. You know, where if you take care of those games, then you can endure a little of the misfortune that just comes with the territory. He's changed it. He moved it yeah. over just a little bit more. See if he can range in on that six ball here. See if he can keep the cue ball on the slate instead of making it hop very high. Oh, the six ball was going to get kissed out. The three and the five went in. 
That was a good adjustment. Though. Yeah. I don't think he has a shot, though. Maybe for a safe, but uh, does it look like that? They and the one thing I, I will say, it did seem like he hit him harder than what Jason's been mm -hmm. hitting them, right? Well, no mistakes from here on out. Uh, Not much offense here, is there? Can he back up I, I that don't ball? Really, I, I don't think so. I mean, he might be able to, unless get, he just kind of curves around it or something. I, I don't think he can make it. Unless I'm just he's maybe, winding up it, like it he looks does like go. He's going to so, English yeah. it in. Yeah, he'll have good shape if he makes this ball because it'll be spinning right towards the two. Oh, yeah. All right. Has to get weird, <laughs> right? Yeah, <laughs> it just yeah. has to get weird. Uh, this will be a pretty shot, a very artistic shot if he executes it. Going to try to run in the nine ball here. Stop the stop the cue ball. Two on the side. Is that what we're looking at? Looks like it. Oh. Now he's going around with in. Oh. Mm. Killed Interesting. It. With Wright to check it up, and what a nice shot. Made two of those in this match. Is he using inside here? Coming straight back one rail off the rail? Looks like it. Boy, that makes ball pocketing a lot tougher. Yeah, you were right. Sure that was inside. He really checked up. How's the speed? Needs to go a little bit, doesn't it? He kind of got in the middle where it, if it stops a foot shorter or a foot longer, either way, it plays pretty right. routine. I could be wrong, but I don't think he can make it this side. No, he's looking in the corner. Well, that's not an easy shot either. The 10 ball might be in play here, though. Might have that as a little backdoor option. Well, there's... There's two balls he can run into to get him in trouble. Look at that shot. And then he got in trouble. Oh. Boy, what a nice hit that was, though. Yeah, but... Mm. Kicking, and then not much you can do here. Just has to make it solid. No, if Eagle Eye can fan this one in or not. Yeah, I think he'll make it. I think he'll maybe kill it. Maybe not. Uh, looks like he's sailing the cue ball. Oh boy, that ain't no good. Oh, I think he's going to be okay. <laughs> I mean, he made the ball, don't get me wrong, but, you know, this is just another tough shot. So yeah, a good position for him is if they're yeah. on the same table. If yeah. the cue ball and the Aussie ball, he's okay. Yeah, he he's knocks it right it. in the horses. That's no good. <laughs> yeah. That's no good for us. Yeah. It's okay no, for yeah, him. No good for me. Oh, well, maybe cancel it that order. He's going to get a little roll here, it looks like. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, look at this. Boy. Now, mm. Morris. <laughs> That's not easy to play anything from here. Now you see what happened there. He got on the line, right? Yeah. Just a, a little bit. I mean. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, it quickly conspires against you. One rail back up table. Yeah, he's just got to play safe. Rail to rail is always good. Oh, oh he was I trying to like thin it. Yeah, I didn't like that shot. He didn't do hideously bad. Though. Yeah, but, I mean, he could have actually maybe the – Cue ball could have been hitting behind the ten if he would have, you know what I mean, set the eight back up. Yeah, eagle eye will take any shot uh, just after what happened there. So. Oh, yeah. There you go. Mighty fine shot. Oh, Mighty boy. fine. That's a match winning shot there. Yes, it is. Can't give great players, you can't let them see it. And Mark going to concede the ten ball. Great match. Well, what do you think the turning point was there? More well, played pretty when he, good. When he missed the eight, that was it. It was going to be yeah. tied up, and yeah. he missed the eight. Yeah. A seemingly very easy shot, and then, uh, you know, yeah. then everything just went Jason's way. And then he had a chance this last game, and, hey, 
it, it is what it is. Uh, it's very difficult out there playing under the pressure. And, uh, you know, he's a great player. They're both great players. So, yeah, the, uh, the eight ball definitely took a toll mentally, too, you know. So, uh, anyway, things but, turned but, around. But great but he, match. He, yes, it was. And he, he, knows, he knows what happened. He knows that, uh, you know, he should have at least been tied up with him and uh, seven, seven. had a chance. So. Yeah. All right, this has been an AccuStats video production. Any rebroadcast or republication is expressly prohibited. Thank you for joining us. And that is our time for this time. So long for just a while.